Welcome to uh, episode 8 of Hugo Builds. Uh, as you can tell, the times have changed. It's been really cold over the past week or so. It's been like minus 10 and then like minus 18 degrees with the wind chill. We still managed to get the slab poured uh, in that temperature. It was a bit warmer during the day and then we ran a kerosene heater kind of during the night for uh, a little bit to uh, get the slab to set properly. So everything looks pretty good now. Take a look at the intro, we'll be right back. All right, uh, today we will be putting the uh, rigid foam on the wall so that the framers can come in either Friday or uh, next Monday to start framing the basement. We also managed to finish the uh, membrane on the roof so the house is sealed and uh, some of the windows are in so let's go upstairs take a look at that. Morning guys, it's uh, Saturday morning. As you can see, we got plenty of snow over the past few days and um, essentially there's a lot of action going on this morning. We got the HVAC guys and uh, the plumbers here uh, today. So uh, I'm gonna be able to get some really cool footage of that. So let's go check that out.
morning guys. It's uh, Sunday morning today. Uh, the HVAC and plumbing guys came in yesterday and did a whole bunch of work so we're pretty pleased about that. As you can see for the ventilation and the plumbing, we actually went with uh, open web joists for the second floor. What this allowed us to do is to have uh, absolutely no bulkheads on the ground floor so you can take a look here and you see that it's just one big open space and we're gonna be bulkhead free, which is exactly how we wanted it. This was a bit of a challenge for the HVAC guys where they had to run tubular ducts in the ceiling. And since the joists are spaced at 16 on center, you know, they could only, they had to cut kind of little pieces of, uh, of duct and make that work. So it was a bit more labor for them. Thankfully the, uh, Mechanical guy is a good friend of mine and uh, you know, he was willing to go the extra mile so that we could not have you know any bulkhead. So that was kind of a big lesson that helped us out here is that we collaborated early. We brought in uh, these mechanical guys and we drew up a plan with them, figured out a strategy so that they can bring this back to the mechanical engineer and come up with a design that you know gave us all the proper supplies in return all the while not creating any bulkheads. All right, it's clean up here. Isa and I actually spent a few hours yesterday kind of sweeping and uh, picking up all the leaves and the sawdust up here, so it's actually really clean. Uh, now I feel much better taking videos up here. I'm gonna go do the same downstairs uh, probably this afternoon or uh, this evening when I get a chance, so it's much cleaner and more enjoyable for the guys to work down here. What's going on guys? So this will do it for episode eight of Hugo Builds. Uh, we're right in front of the house. We have the dumpster behind us. Uh, the HVAC guys are inside finishing up. Uh, it's pretty late on Saturday afternoon and they did a really good job uh, moving the stuff forward. They actually have the furnace now in the basement and uh, most of the duct work is done. So that's some uh, really good news. Isa and I just uh, spent a few hours cleaning up this pile of garbage that was in front of the house for the past few months. We rented a dumpster and uh, we managed to kind of clean everything up. Now we have a good pile of firewood that I uh, have a friend who's gonna come pick up. But for the meantime, I think we did a lot of work this weekend. I just want to shout out to Mr. Dumpster. Uh, the driver that came was like really precise and like super good. I let him know because he had to maneuver between like really, really tight spaces and he did a really good job. Thanks. Yeah, and their customer service to just arrange this dumpster was really good as well. So I definitely recommend uh, Mr. Dumpster if you guys are looking for a dumpster. That reminds me, I also want to thank uh, my neighbor, Michel. He actually uh, helped uh, Isa and I out to sort out this whole bin and kind of reorganize everything. You can see him in the time lapse. And, uh, you know, he was a huge help to uh, get this done pretty quick. So thanks to him. So that's it. Like, subscribe. See you next week. <laughs>